Hello guys, and welcome to my channel. Due to YouTube copyright infringement, we only use one picture with voiceover. Thank you for understanding. If you love history and biographies, please leave a like and a sub. Let's start the video. So William Ramsey, born October 2, 1852, Glasgow, Scott. Died July 23, 1916. High Wickham, Buckinghamshire, ENG, British physical chemist who discovered for gases, neon, argon, krypton, xenon, and showed that they, with helium and radon, formed an entire family of new elements, the noble gases. He was awarded the 1904 Nobel Prize for Chemistry in recognition of this achievement. Ramsey, the only child of a civil engineer, decided at an early age that he would become a chemist. He studied at the University of Glasgow in Scotland, 1866-70. During his final 18 months there he pursued additional studies in the laboratory of the city analyst, Robert Tatlock. In October 1870 he left Glasgow without taking a degree, intending to become a pupil of the German analytical chemist Robert Bunsen at the University of Heidelberg in Germany, but he abandoned this plan. Six months later, Ramsey became a doctoral student under the German organic chemist Rudolf Fittig at the University of Tübingen in Germany, where he received a doctorate in 1872. After graduating from Tübingen, Ramsey returned to Glasgow to work at Anderson College, 1872-74, and then at the University of Glasgow, 1874-80. During this period, Ramsey's research focused on alkaloids, complex chemical compounds derived from plants. He studied their physiological action and established their structural relationship to pyridine, a nitrogen-containing compound closely resembling benzene. In 1879, he turned to physical chemistry to study the molecular volumes of elements at their boiling points. Following his appointment to the Chair of Chemistry at University College, Bristol, 1880-87, he became Principal of the College in 1881, he continued this research with the British chemist Sidney Young, they published more than 30 papers on the physical characteristics of liquids and vapours. This work helped Ramsey to develop the technical and manipulative skills that later formed the hallmark of his work on the noble gases. In 1887 Ramsey became Professor of General Chemistry at University College London, where he remained until his retirement in 1913. For several years, he continued to work on projects related to the properties of liquids and vapours, and in 1893 he and chemist John Shields verified Hungarian physicist Roland Iopvos's law for the constancy of the rate of change of molecular surface energy with temperature. During the following year, Ramsey began the research that was eventually to make him the most famous chemist in Britain, the discovery of the noble gases. The British physicist John William Strutt, better known as Lord Rayleigh, showed in 1892 that the atomic weight of nitrogen found in chemical compounds was lower than that of nitrogen found in the atmosphere. He ascribed this discrepancy to a light gas included in chemical compounds of nitrogen, while Ramsey suspected a hitherto undiscovered heavy gas in atmospheric nitrogen. Using two different methods to remove all known gases from air, Ramsey and Rayleigh were able to announce in 1894 that they had found a monatomic, chemically inert gaseous element that constituted nearly 1% of the atmosphere, they named it argon. The following year, Ramsey liberated another inert gas from a mineral called clavate, this proved to be helium previously known only in the solar spectrum. In his book The Gases of the Atmosphere, 1896, Ramsey showed that the positions of helium and argon in the periodic table of elements indicated that at least three more noble gases might exist. In 1898 he and the British chemist Morris W. Travers isolated these elements, called neon, krypton, and xenon, from air brought to a liquid state at low temperature and high pressure. Working with the British chemist Frederick Soddy in 1903, Ramsey demonstrated that helium, together with a gaseous emanation called radon, is continually produced during the radioactive decay of radium, a discovery of crucial importance to the modern understanding of nuclear reactions. In 1910, 
using tiny samples of radon, Ramsey proved that it was a sixth noble gas, and he provided further evidence that it was formed by the emission of a helium nucleus from radium. This research demonstrated the high degree of experimental skill that Ramsey had developed, but it also marked his last notable scientific contribution. Intrigued by the new science of radiochemistry, he made many unsuccessful attempts to further explore the phenomenon. Ramsey had many interests, including languages, music, and travel. He was strongly supportive of science education, a concern that grew out of his experiences at Bristol, where he had been deeply involved in the campaign to obtain government funding for the university colleges. He was the first to write textbooks based on the periodic classification of elements, a system of inorganic chemistry and elementary systematic chemistry for the use of schools and colleges, both 1891. After the turn of the 20th century, and especially following the award of the Nobel Prize, Ramsey's time was increasingly taken up by external commitments. His fame was such that he was in demand as a consultant to industry and as an expert witness in legal cases. He expanded his range of interests to include the business world, becoming a director of some, ultimately short-lived, chemical companies. He also wrote semi-popular magazine articles on science, some of which were published in his essays Biographical and Chemical, 1908. The recipient of many awards and honors, Ramsey was elected a Fellow of the Royal Society in 1888 and knighted in 1902, and he served as President of the Chemical Society, 1907-09, and the British Association for the Advancement of Science, 1911. Following his retirement, he moved to Buckinghamshire and continued to work in a private laboratory at his home. Upon the outbreak of war in 1914, he became involved in efforts to secure the participation of scientific experts in the creation of government science policy. He continued to write on war-related matters until his death from cancer. <laughs>